Okay, okay, so you're having trouble automating within Logic Pro. This is a big issue, right? You're trying to go into latch automation to perform online automation. And so you do what you need to do, move the volume fader, perhaps you have a MIDI controller and, and there's just no response. And maybe you think, well, I have to create an automation line. and Maybe that kind of gets the party started, but yet that is also in vain. And so I want to show you how to rectify this problem. But before I do, make sure you hit the like button. That'll greatly help my channel grow. We're almost up to 4K followers. So I appreciate that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Logic Pro. That's Command Q. I'm obviously not going to save this. And within the Apple ecosystem, I'm going to go into the Go menu up here, top of the menu bar, hold option and click. That will take me into the user library. And then here, you want to look for the folder that's called Preferences. I'm going to hit Command down arrow key. And then you want to look for an inconspicuous file. It's called com.apple.logic10.plist. I'm going to ask you to actually throw that away. Now, I do have to warn you in advance that I am about to cause a lot of haywire in your life. Uh, basically, everything that you ever set up in Logic Pro is going to be gone. The one thing that will stay, of course, are all the loops and all that stuff, but are the key commands. So you are saved in that regard, but everything else, all the, the, the settings used to be called preferences, but now it's called settings. Uh, all of that is gone. So, so long as you're okay with that, then you're going to have to kind of swallow that pill. You might have to download some more sounds. I'm going to hit download later for now. Uh, you'll go through kind of this, you know, you just bought logic pro. Here's the new version. Look here, I have to set up my sample rate. I usually have it set to 48. So you'll kind of have to start over in that regard. But, and this is a big but, um, automation is going to work. Uh, just a quick heads up, you're going to have to open up Advance, enable complete features again so that Logic Pro isn't working like its distant uh, cousin GarageBand. And so then now uh, there's a couple settings that I particularly like. In display, I don't like all the animation look. I think it looks too, I don't know, fuddy-duddy. Uh, but if I go into there, this is kind of the sleek look and design that I like. But as my main point here, I'm going to start automating and voila. All right. Let me know in the comments if that actually solved your problem. Uh, for some of you, there might be a plethora of issues and I'm out trying to help as many people as I can. If you want to check out my courses, please do on Skillshare or Udemy. Uh, I've got a book coming out and all sorts of great stuff. So go ahead and follow and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.